Hey, look, it's the double wide dudes. All right. How we doing, AP? I'm good. I'm good. I'm st- still loving that intro. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Uh, well, welcome back to the third episode of Depreciation. Um, the first two we covered, the myth of depreciation, we talked about getting the best price, uh, best initial cost, that way you can set up your family for success. Um, but, but you were mentioning there were some other factors to to determining whether your home's going to depreciate or not. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I can imagine whether putting your home in a mobile home community park or, or having it on your own piece of property can have an effect. So how does the location of your home determine whether your home's going to appreciate or not? Definitely a great question. And, and this is one of the factors that plays a major role in whether a home down the road is going to be worth more or less than what you paid for it. Mm-hmm. You know, with land, God, God's not making any more land. So if you're buying land with your home in an area that is popular and folks want to move to, then it's not just the home that may go up in value. It's also the land itself. Mm-hmm. We actually have one of our team members, Ernest Gomez. Him and his wife, Lisa, bought a single wide about three or four years ago and put it on just under an acre out there in Castorville, Texas, Mm -hmm. which, since they purchased it, has become a very popular place to move. And there aren't a lot of homes for sale and definitely not a lot of affordable land for sale out Mm -hmm. there. So their property, the single wide and the land together, is actually worth about twenty to 25000 more in today's market than it was when they paid for it. Okay, so it sounds like their manufactured home would appreciate just like a traditional site build would. Exactly. Um, so what about the folks that can't necessarily afford a piece of property and, and all the improvements and, and utilities that go with it? Uh, what would you say to those listeners? Well, first off, I, I would certainly applaud them for taking that first step to becoming a homeowner. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and really, even if you're purchasing a manufactured home and putting it in a community, you're still going to get more money back when you go to sell that than you would if you were renting an apartment or renting a house. Yeah, it's important to keep in mind uh, that if you're a renter, you're a tenant, uh, you're going to get zero dollars back at the end of your stay there. Exactly, exactly. There's just no asset. There's there's nothing to sell. So even if you're a first-time home buyer and financially, the best you can afford is a manufactured home in a community, mm-hmm. you're still going to have a leg up on those folks that decided to rent. And you uh, you remember the Chavez family, right? Yeah. Leroy, Michelle, and the kids? Um, well, that's a decision they made 10 years ago um, to, to purchase a home, owner finance, in a manufactured home community. And now, fast forward 10 years down the road, um, they're fixing to come in to close on a, a brand new home on an acre of land. Um, but at this point in time, they, they have an asset now that they're going to be able to resell mm-hmm. um, and put a chunk of change back in that Chavez family bank account. Yeah, yeah, I remember too. He was shopping at another competitor before. Um, and weren't they going to have him you know, sign over the title for, for basically nothing in return? Yeah, and... And again, that's why we wanted to do these podcasts and educate people. You know, I, I certainly didn't know this information eight years ago before I got into the industry. Mm-hmm. And, and um, he was actually just going to sign the title over um, because he didn't know there was value in his home. You know, um, in, in his mind, the, the seller was, was actually doing him a favor um, because he still owed a couple years on it. Mm-hmm. And um, the, the reality is in today's market his home is worth quite a bit more than what he owed on it. So we were happy to to take some pictures and, and help them list it on our website, direct some traffic and, and some potential buyers there. And hopefully when it's all said and done, at, at the end of this, we've, we're helping two families become homeowners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm sure he's going to be happy about that. Uh, that just goes to show right there that even a used home, owner, finance, or whatever you into at the moment, that if you do decide to make a housing change uh, from the current home that you're in, it's worth doing your research and uh, to find out exactly what the house is worth. Um, that way you're not shooting yourself in the foot. Right, right. I mean, the last thing we want our listeners to do is leave any money on the table. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Well, well, that does it for episode number three. Join us on the next one. Where we'll fill you in on how the availability of housing options and the overall market uh, will come into play to determine whether your house is going to depreciate or not. Thanks again. And we'll talk to you then.